All right, good afternoon, students, and welcome. We are in week five of our summer workshops, our summer programming, and we couldn't be more excited. Uh, thank you. Many of you have been on with us just about all summer long. And uh, for those of you who are new to Bridge to Life, well, welcome aboard. Uh, tonight we're talking about LinkedIn training, but before we go into that, uh, we're going to tell you about an upcoming incentive, and you probably heard about something like this uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, but, and this is the final LinkedIn workshop. This is huge. This is huge. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, we had a trip out to the Museum of Discovery and Science to watch the new Fast and Furious movie. But attached to that uh, were some vendors and, of course, uh, an incentive that, that required you to attend two of our events, right, two of our summer workshops. So we said, well, let's do the same thing. Well, maybe we cancel out the, the vendors, but let's just give kids an opportunity or young adults, excuse me, uh, an opportunity to have some fun. So here's our new incentive, uh, AMC Movie Theaters. Uh, we're giving out two passes, so one for you, one for a, a friend, a plus one, to go see the new Space Jam movie, uh, Black Widow, or, you know, just want to take somebody to go see whatever there's out there. It's up to you. But, you know, we know that a lot of students have talked about Space Jam and Black Widow. So those are two really cool, popular movies. Um, and again, the incentive is make sure to attend two of our trainings between now and July 29th. 29th is the deadline. So once you've attended two, then uh, you are eligible. Um, seats are limited. So make sure that you are showing up as often as possible. Okay. All right. That's our new incentive. Um, we're going to move right into tonight's training. I want to save as much time as possible for that. I'll be behind the scenes in the chat, answering questions where need be and helping out our one and only Glenn Benjamin from Land Infotech, who is going to walk you through the uh, LinkedIn process. And some of you may have heard this earlier uh, before we even started, but uh, you can kind of consider this a live LinkedIn profile development uh, that we're going to start working on. So, Glenn, we're so thankful to have you on. I'm going to mute myself and pass the mic over to you. And, and again, we need some more passion out of you, out of you there, Tron. You know, <laughs> we need some exuberance. By the way, I don't know if you realize it. I guess coming from your side window, you've got the sun hitting you. Look at the great aura that, that Tron has right now. It's kind of reflecting. Now, I'm a bald guy. You don't want me getting sun because I'll blind every one of you. But yeah, so isn't that cool? What great timing. We couldn't work that out any better. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Come back for the matinee show, guys. You're right. And gals, right? All right. Um, this is gonna be a little different than what we did last week. And I want this to be extremely interactive. Questions, comments, whether it's in the chat, you come off of mute and, and bark it out, I don't mind. Uh, I am not gonna do PowerPoint tonight. This is gonna be as much as we can live within LinkedIn. And I'm gonna start with mine very briefly. It's not fair to compare mine to yours because once I show you something, you'll go, Wait a minute, he's doing this a long time. So let me see if I can grab the keys to this thing here. And I don't, I'll don't. i put sound on, but I don't think I'm using any sound. So now what I'm gonna do is look at deep in my profile here, and you all should be able to see something that says how LinkedIn uses your data. You all can see that, just somebody give me a thumbs up or bark it out. Everybody good with that? Yep, how uh, LinkedIn uses your data, yep, we see yep. it. So mm -hmm. you can see right here toward the middle, hang on, oops, why I can't highlight it, I don't know. I started in LinkedIn before most of you all were born and I don't wanna know anybody's ages, that's fine. So I've been using this thing about 17 years and the reason I got involved, LinkedIn was brand spanking new. I had a friend of mine who went to some type of recruiting class and they said, you got to join LinkedIn, join LinkedIn. I'm like, I don't want to bother. Social media was extremely new way back then. I, did. I didn't want to bother with the darn thing. He kept hounding me, hounding me, fine, I'll join it. So you all could see my anniversary of March of 2004. And about two or three years ago, when LinkedIn passed 100 million users, I just looked it up a minute or two ago. Right now, LinkedIn has 756 million people. So when I joined um, a few years back, I got this email from LinkedIn thanking me 
because I was part of the first 100 million users and you could see how fast they've escalated. And I was number 311,000 something for joining LinkedIn. So uh, I've been around, uh, w around this thing, this platform a long, long time. Not expecting you all to even have that type of uh, background, but we're just gonna get started. We're gonna take baby steps. We are not gonna solve this all in one night. Gonna give you the best suggestions I can, and then we're gonna go through it. So before I even dive in, anybody got any questions? Um, I know, Colleen, you'd put a couple folks up there that were brand new to this whole thing. Um, I'm not gonna call them out unless they wanna be called out um, that we can start working on. And the show of silence is telling me just to keep going. So I'll keep going. Again, 756 million, but what's 700 million amongst friends, right? So let me go back where I was. I'm gonna go back to LinkedIn, get out of this profile data. Show of hands or just call it out in the chat. Does anybody have a resume today? Again, I'm going into my LinkedIn and I will apologize in advance. I see a yes, a couple of yeses. Um, again, my disclaimer is if something shows up here that shouldn't be, that's not appropriate, you know, my apologies, but I'm doing this as live as I can do it. I see three yeses. So, and I'm good. Okay, well, okay, we got a no. All right. So, Rhiannon, Tony, all yeses. How many of you have taken information out of your resume that you've done? There was like four of you and put at least some of it into LinkedIn. Let me rephrase the question that way. You've taken your resume and put it out there for people to look at. Nope, all right. Does anybody put their stuff? Cause that's where I'm gonna start. And I don't know if Noel is the last name or the first name. You've got an extra A in her first name. An extra A because she sings like Rihanna, right? Let's see. Let's see what happens when I do that. Nope. I'm spelling it right, but I don't see it. So is there anybody? Let's see. Can I try Tony? If she is, if she, I'm assuming that's a she, has put anything from their resume out here. And yes, I'm the world's worst typist. Now there's a thousand of these. Uh, how about if I go, Fort Porterdale, Jupiter, Boca, no. So I'm running into a brick wall here. So that this part's not gonna work unless somebody has something that I can use. I'll try one more then I'm just gonna do it on my own. And how about if I type Broward, what happens? Ah, is this the right person? Yes, it is. And and um, Juan, can you come off mute and tell us how to pronounce your name? I'm quite reluctant to butcher it. So um, I pronounce it Swan. Swan, like a swan. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Swan. It takes me twelve times to uh, to repeat somebody's name for me to learn it. Okay. And Swan, is this your? your LinkedIn page so far? Yes, it is. I, okay. I made it pretty recently, so there's not really much on there. That's fine. We have no problem with that. Do you mind if I show it on screen like this? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'm just scanning real fast. A couple of things I love already are your interest, right? That's real important because really what we're creating here is an electronic resume. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, and I see you have not posted my resume. Do you have a resume, Swan? 
Uh, no, I haven't made one yet. Okay. All right. Cool. That's fine. You know, as as your career develops, it becomes imperative that you do. But for now, this is baby steps. We're putting the toe in the water. So just knowing real quickly, she is interested in creative writing and digital art. Broward College, can we get a shout out, Tron? What do you say? Okay. I know I had I knew I had Tron here for something, right? Um, and then obviously I know where you're going to school. Now, if if you were looking to develop this further, where do you think you would start, Swan? Where would be the best place to start putting some information? Summary, I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. Activity, I'm not too worried about activity right now. But what you want, and again, I'm not going to compare myself. That's not fair to you all. Um, but I'll find somebody else that it might make more sense for. Hang on a second. Again, this is as live as I can do this. So. Oh, excuse me. My mom is here with me right now. She has a question. Please. Okay. Well, for Swan, she's a rising senior. She's going to be a senior this coming year. What should she be like putting in her profile to attract like colleges since she's, you know, aiming to get, get into college and all that. Okay, cool. And, and, and this is Glenn, by the way, mom, what's your name? Just so I have something. Uh, Lonnie. To tell you. Nice Lonnie. Name. Mm -hmm. Lonnie. Lonnie. Okay. Okay. So what I would do here, and you said she's a rising, uh, what was that? Yeah. Senior. She's going to be a senior this year, this coming school year. Okay. Did you, did you call her a rising star? What was that? <laughs> she is a rising star and a senior. <laughs> rising star. Okay. I mean, we're all pretty familiar with um, with Google, right? The, all these search engines work fairly close like, like they all do. Uh, I, I'm just going to pick on Trisha here because she lists herself as a rising star. Oh. Okay. Again, I, I'm just, again, I'm just typing away here without a whole lot of thought. Rising Star Technology Consulting, that's not helping me a lot. But I saw another couple. And let me, because a lot of this is sitting out here just like Google. Rising Star Owner, <laughs> there, there's a Rising Star, uh, Rising Star Director, um, you know what I should put? Okay, hold on. Oh, I know no, what I, I'm missing. I mean, she's a rising senior. <laughs> okay, a rising senior? Yeah, she's going to be a senior this school year. So I wanted to know, like, what she should be putting on her LinkedIn profile to attract colleges. Okay. Rising, so this is a rising senior prospective law student. So oh, okay. I'm going to pick that one because I don't know any better at this point. Let me just see what this young lady, Mackenzie, aha. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not gonna say we're gonna use plagiarism and copy everything word for word. She's a rising senior, senior, I think she's already in, in college, obviously. But what the plans are, in this case, law school, public defender, president of sociology. So she's got a very well-balanced uh, summary about herself. Um, what I'd also probably recommend is some of the GPA grade point averages that she, she, this person has achieved. And Swan should probably be doing some of the same things. Um, her activity, and activity is really important as you start going through this. And I don't think there's any real activity here. Okay, well, there's a comment. If she put any post out there, things like that, that you're interested in, that you want to comment on. So Swan, what, what is it you want to be doing in, in school? What, what's your major going to be? Thinking of um, majoring in veterinary science or the like. Okay, cool. So is there something in particular in the veterinary world you'd like to at least post and comment about? Um, not at the moment. <laughs> okay. Veterinary, and I, again, I'm the world's worst typist and speller. But let's see, 
doctor of veterinary medicine. Here's somebody, right? A veterinary assistant right here in Miami. Why not? But you can see how easy this is. Okay. Uh, she, she, again, doesn't have a whole lot here. But if you find people that are already in this type of business, and I'm just clicking along here, you could pull a lot of this information out of people that are already doing it. Uh, okay, found that a largest veterinary practice. You can find also keywords that's gonna get you attention, high quality veterinary care, uh, those types of topics. And the reason you know, Schwan, Swan likes Banfield is because they focus on, you know, you wanna talk about preventative veterinary care or what, whatever it is that interests you. And you could find lots of articles and when recruiters see that this is an interest of yours, that may be a key for them to reach out and contact you because you're, you're interested in whatever it is Banfield is offering. And again, I'm just winging this. I don't know anything about these people, but do you get the idea? Make sense, Juan? Great tip, okay, thanks. I'm not, I'm not really reading the chat, so I got too many screens in front of me. Uh, but that, that, it's just giving you an idea of what you could be looking at. Um, do I have another volunteer for me to go look their, their LinkedIn up? Anybody else? Otherwise, I'm just gonna go find some folks on my own. And this is a great guide. Okay, so, all right, I see that, like that. Right, I'm gonna try something. I'm just going to put the good old generic word of student. Uh, and I don't know any of these people. I'm just pulling them out of thin air. Senior at UM. Okay, so again, they're a little bit more advanced, but right here, you can get an idea of what should be in your summary. Field of study is public relations. You can see that's important, music business. Now get the keywords out there, much like a resume, because when you submit resumes to recruiters, they look for these keywords. And then when they have a job rec or an opportunity, they will start finding those keywords that have been stored in their system. So in this case, Melanie has music, public relations, all of that is filed within the database of resumes. You all are probably learned a little bit technology lately. And this is where you start hearing a term big data or unstructured data, where all these words are out there. And if you know how to search them, this is what pops up. Uh, you can see that she's an intern with a PR company, another internship, youth, mar youth marketing, campus ambassador. These are great titles. As you all could see, she went to wherever St. Brendan is. Volunteer experience, anybody done any intern work or any volunteer experience? Do you think that would belong inside of this platform called LinkedIn? And I see Colleen is throwing out some catchy headlines here. Overachieving, high school senior, well-written, okay. Is this starting to make sense? Because really as I'm doing this, all of this exists. It's right here. All we gotta do is type the right thing. Um, I think we had done this last time where I just typed in recruiter just to see what would happen. Um, give me a school recruiter, uh, give someone throw out a school name for me or admission. You know what? I think I did admi admissions. Somebody want me to throw out, oh, Broward College. What do you think, Tron? Why don't you, why don't you, why don't we look at some high school student examples? So put in, um, um, well, we have Millennium here. We have um, Coconut Creek. We have Fort Lauderdale High. Um, to see, see if when you put in Coconut Creek High School, whether student profiles pop up. So, because I think yep. one of the key things is, Look at 10 student examples, 
10 other student examples for the college or career area of interest that you have. Um, and then look at the examples and see what you like out of all of them from what Glenn has shown you, right? Catchy title, a really good about section. Your education is going to be your primary emphasis, but any employment, any volunteer work, any internship is great. Okay. Always, yeah. always, always have a photo. Okay. And I'm all for the dolphins. Go fins. And I know Jency is here somewhere and she's done a, a good start. I do have a pending request into you, Jency, if you want to approve that. And so graduated Coconut Creek, you're now heading over to Nova Southeastern. Congrats. Communication leadership, presentations. I mean, the, again, this is a shell. I know that we're getting you started. Uh, these particular interests are fantastic. Amazon, I think he's going up into space tomorrow, right, Bezos? So um, if you want to be a space cadet, you could follow him, right? Uh, so what we want, I think what we want to start to do here is look at some of these summaries, right? Right, Colleen, you know, what are the things that are going to get people's attention? And I think it comes down to at least some of the content. Right, so Jency doesn't have an about section yet. Right. So that's part of her profile that she'll build out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pick out only because I see Tron and you are connected with Jamie. Let's see what happens. Perfect. What's that? I said that's perfect. Okay. See all details. Okay. Casually browsing. Okay, this gives us something, right? Here is Jamie. I don't know if she's on this call, but you know, this is giving us some clue. And if you all understand social media by any extent, the more data, the better that they can come up with results to give to people that might want to offer you a grant or a scholarship, what have you. So if you want to reach out to Jamie for coffee, I have enough coffee. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Okay. Um, at, before most of you all came on, I'm a little hesitant about putting ages out here and your birth dates. Um, definitely do not put your address, your home address or any address. Um, but at least, you know, Jamie's saying, you know, here I am. Uh, I probably would have said, you know, high school, sophomore, junior. Maybe I were to put that. So, and she's interested in fashion and art. Okay. And what I would want to know if I were interviewing Jamie is, you know, what classes have you taken? What programs within art are you looking at? Um, have you done any web development? I mean, there's a thousand things within art now, but this at least gives me something. I assume again, Jamie is not on here. Does have a good picture here too, by the way, that's important. Let me just go back here. Come on, let's find somebody else that I saw. Now the, the rest of these don't have, uh, Dante Johnson, I'm assuming this person is not on here. Okay. So, uh, okay, so we get a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, I don't wanna use my profile because that, that's gonna be overwhelming. Is there anybody else, Colleen, that we can call out and look at? I mean, Kristen did the first LinkedIn training workshop. She's a really good profile and a really good about section. Okay, is it Kristen with yeah. an I or an E? With a K and it's E-N and it's C-O-R-P-I-O-N, last name. P-I-O, Corpion? Did she oh, yes. Yeah. I, I remember her, she did something I remember in the readiness series. And she spent a great deal of time writing this about section, which you should all do as well under below that under highlights. I think it's we're sort of about there it is. Yep. Yep. This is phenomenal. I would not expect you all to have this out of the gate. And you know, this builds up over time. We're not going to say tonight, I want this whole thing finished. And by the way, it's going to change over the course of time too, as things change. The world has evolved, you evolve. 
Um, so this is phenomenal. It has her corporate phone number, email, that's fine. She founded the company three years, almost four years ago. And, and she's a great speaker. Uh, I remember watching her before. Um, and I only wish I had that kind of hair, but unfortunately I'm not so lucky. Uh, contacts, again, for her, you she can put anything she wants. Her, again, birthday is totally up to you. Do not put your birth year because then people are going to know your age. And that's something we want to be careful with. And go on from there. And she's got, she's got 9,500 connections. So pretty darn good. Okay. So we want to put profiles. We want to put summaries. Besides what you're taking and your interest, what other information? And if I go back to hers for a second, what else would you want to put in here? Who, she's got who they work with, small business entrepreneurs, you know, why she built the law firm. Uh, she's an entrepreneur. Is that stuff you think people want to know about you that you have an interest, whether it's law, healthcare, uh, technology? Do you think it's important for people to know that? And I'm going to wait for any copy directly. I'm got an awful quiet crowd here. I guess it's late on a Monday, right? All right. But is, am I getting a, you know, a thumbs up at least? Does this make some sense? Uh, we have a yes in the chat so far. Yep. All right. I'm going to go back to me. And, and again, this is, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to tr have you compare, but hopefully after you take a look at my profile, again, got to give the shout out for Broward College, right, Trump? Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. There we go. So. My contact info, whenever this comes up here. Now I have a whole lot more, obviously. I've got multiple websites, my phone, my Gmail, my Twitter, which also means you all can put your social media in here. And yes, November 13th, I don't give my birth year, but I am older than dirt, I can tell you that. This has a lot more details. I'm not even gonna waste your folks' time as to who's hitting me and why. But my about, you know, is really a combination of business. I offer solutions that improve business outcomes, blah, blah, blah. I am, I am also a Miami Dolphins fan, as you can see here. I have some volunteering time. My experience is loaded and loaded with a lot of stuff. I don't think this is too big. And if you all have a different commentary, feel free to throw it out. Um, Kristen obviously had a whole lot more than me. She's an entrepreneur trying to grab other people's attention. But, you know, something that you are, you know, uniquely qualified possibly as the rising senior, as a technologist, any of that can be put in here. I also did put in the pivot we and I made during the pandemic where I'm helping run virtual events. And obviously I've helped uh, Colleen and Tron help run some of these in the background. Glenn uh, just had an idea because I just did this on my site. If you search under and, and put in the term high school student, it'll return every high school student that has identified as a high school student. Um, and you misspelled school. Oh, well, see, without spell check, I'm useless. So, okay, good. And and it says on mine that there are 9 million profiles on uh, LinkedIn of high school students. And for me, it also returns uh, local students right in the South Florida area, but you can just scroll through other student, whoops, other student <laughs> examples. Hold on. Yeah, hang on. All right, so now I'm retrying it. So yeah, high school student, right? Just, yeah. Yeah, and if I want to focus on Broward, it will start looking that way. And and again, uh, like uh, like Colleen was saying, yeah, you can also do it here. So if I want, oh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Right, so these are pure examples. 
Um, I'm going to pick on this young lady, Jamanta, if I'm pronouncing that right. Love the background. I love the creativity. So this is important to her. That catches my eye, of course, a very good picture. Uh, education. Again, she's, she's starting out as well. Anything else in here? Oh, okay. Strategy. All the little things you all are doing every day and ones that you want to focus on belong here in your industry, knowledge, interpersonal skills. And by the way, interpersonal skills, and please don't be offended, is not with your head down on your smartphone typing with your thumbs. I mean, this is really how you get out there. And I pick on that because I have a 13-year-old granddaughter in the other room. Uh, she never lifts her head and looks up. So I pick on that. But does everybody see the stand for justice, how important that is? That really catches the eye, done very nicely. So if you do have something you're really, really passionate about, make it your background. Certainly that works really, really well. Okay. Uh, language. Okay. I'm just looking at, I'm, I'm looking at the chat here. Uh, all right, you had me put high school student. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with Broward. Let's just see where they pop up. It, let me just ask, is everybody grasping this that a lot of this just sits here? It's here for you. All right, here, uh, George is a high school student at Palm Beach High. Ah, I like this already, hang on. Whoa, I love this guy. Not only describes what he's doing, what certifications he has finished, and I'm a Microsoft guy, so hats off to George. He shared, I don't think he shared anything, has he? Oh, huh, okay. So George put out something, what he's gonna be doing in the future. Oh, he even wrote this. Wow, he, he's actually a security specialist. He's not, oh, this was down in 2014, mainframe. So, you know, touting yourself is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. As long as, as, long as it's legitimate and genuine and you're not making it up, because if you're caught making it up, you're gonna be in worse trouble than when you started. So George, even though it says he's a student, I think he's graduated quite a while ago. Really, really nice. Bachelor of Computer Science. He's gonna have that done in a couple of years, okay. It's interesting, it says that he, he works for the, for, for the Palm Beach High School as an IT guy, so interesting. Look at this one, okay, uh, okay, you're giving me one. Go. I'm getting suggestions from the audience here. Tick, 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 tick. Wow. Okay, nice picture, smile. And I'm assuming that some plant life with some moisture on it, really nice. Edible arrangements, ah. That's why I went here. Okay, and there's another birthday. Come on, go away. All right, high school senior, wants to be a veterinarian, practitioner, growing my experience and skills. So she's food prep at edible arrangements. Of course, we had to do this at dinner time. I'm hungry. Train new employees, prepare edible arrangements for delivery, prepare, prepare food. You can see she had junior achievement in her background very recently. Tommy Hilfiger, data entry clerk, motivation check, and Stranahan. This is pretty darn good. This really tells a lot. The people she's following, A-Rod, okay. Sean Robinson, I know. Amazon, again, if you want to be a space cadet and go up with Jeff Bezos tomorrow, you can. Just cost a few dollars. That's really nicely done. I like this. And, and again, she's probably not much older than you all, I wouldn't think. 
And yeah, and so this is, I mean, the profile is actually not that difficult to put together, right? Uh, the about section is really just for people to know you with keywords. Um, but the other thing you're seeing in a lot of these profiles is what, Glenn? You're seeing the number of connections. Um, in terms of connecting and making sure that other people know you, because LinkedIn works like you're a direct connection, first level, second connection, third. If you start making connections on LinkedIn, you can have third and fourth and fifth degree connections that really expands your horizon. A lot of the student profiles we've seen so far, um, you have one connection or two connections, right? Start sending out invitations to connect to me, to Tron, to Glenn, to anyone that you've connected with. So we can connect you. You can interconnect through us. This gal has 43 connections, which isn't half bad, but you want to get into the hundreds of connections. So, right. and, and, and she and I share a connection. I know Anna real well. Anna works with junior achievement. And obviously this is where the young lady came from. And then between Anna and myself, she and I know 42 people and so on and so on and so on. So uh, really nicely done. Do any so, of the students on the call today have a profile that you'd like us to review while you've got Glenn here? Otherwise we could do Trons, he won't care. Right, Tron. Go for it. Now, uh, anybody before we do that? Emily says she has a profile. Emily Val Dovinos. I'm just going to copy and paste that one. There's no way I'm going to get that right. I Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily. And I know Kiefer has one. Jency has one. Okay. And it's probably the second one, correct? Student at Broward Virtual School? Correct. Okay. nicely done again there's a there's a great little background that's the first thing that caught my eye this is really good and of course a nice profile picture um okay and because she and i are not directly connected i'm not going to see all of her contact info but also in her title i really like that student at broward virtual school division 24a lieutenant governor at the florida district of key club international that's impressive. That is. And the sad part is, I'm not sure what all that means, but it gets my attention, right? I don't know much about Division 24A, Barrett Virtual School. Um, I will say, Emily, something happened here at the end where it says and, and there's nothing after it. So fix that when you get a chance. Um, Key Club. International, 13 key clubs driven through Broward and liaison. And again, I don't want to look completely paranoid. I have no idea what key club is. So I'm learning as I'm sitting here reading. But Any the campaign? leadership role that Emily has is impressive. Yes. I mean, presiding over 13 key clubs in, the, in her region that's pretty impressive. Right. And, you know, as you evolve this, Emily, what you're going to want to say is not only is it 13 key clubs, um, you could also discuss how you help them become more efficient, drive more revenue, reduce costs. Little projects in here will go perfect. Uh, you know, 13 key clubs during the pandemic actually grew revenue by 110%, really catches my eye. But this is great to start with. Yeah, I'm pretty sure key clubs are not revenue I, generating. It, I think it's more oriented around volunteerism and leadership and community engagement. How about fundraising? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, and I think for capturing the attention of colleges, I don't know that generating income and fundraising, I mean, that would be more for an employer for sure. Right. Emily, can you come off mute and tell us what key clubs are? Is Emily able to come off mute? Okay. 
it's not a showstopper. But this is really nicely done. Uh, she says, give me a second to fix her mic, to fix my mic. Okay. And if you, if you even need to call in via the phone, keep the connection and just dial in. That's fine too. Because this is really nicely done. Societies of honors. And the reason I was doing metrics there, Colleen, is sometimes when people are even, uh, if you had a metric that showed how well you did, sometimes that helps. That's why I bring it up, not necessarily sales. And I'm also going to say this out loud Kiefer, you have got a profile. I don't see National Honor Society. I don't see any of the other kind of accolades and achievements, uh, enrollment in the Marine Science Magnet. None of that's in your profile yet. So Kiefer, you definitely want to build out your profile more to reflect all of you, right? All of your achievements, all of your accomplishments. You've got a lot more than is showing in your profile. I just took a peek at it. Yeah, Emily I know. I'm um, organizing the stuff. Like I have like a a uh, document open with like a list and I'm like sorting it out. Good, 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 good. And you know, and a nice little about for you as well, that about section. I am Kiefer, I'm very active and involved. I mean, I could write it for you, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and for the right fee, you probably will, right? <laughs> you know, but that's what we're looking for here. You're looking to be able to, to delineate yourself from classmates, people that might be pursuing the same opportunities. So any anything you can add that's value add, that's great. That's what you wanna do here. So hats off to Emily. I don't know if she's coming on. Does industry represent our desired industry? I'm not sure I understand. Your desired industry, and again, you folks are young, things will change over the course of time. Uh, can you add a little something to that, Tony? You can put your desired industry knowing it will likely change. Yeah, I was gonna ask because I'm starting my, I just made an account. Um, this is my first uh, meeting about this, but I am looking at the edit intro and I see industry. So since I don't have a job or since I'm not in one, would I just put the industry I wanna go into or? what? What interests you? I don't even care about the job. What is it that excites you? I would do it that way. Okay. Um, and just throw the example out there. Is it what fashion, art, education, psychology? What What do you think you're you're looking at right now? Uh, for me, law. Perfect. You know. Uh, there's a, a, a 60% of the customers of my company are law firms. Um, you know, there's so much specialization now within law. And if you just simply put legal, uh, legal research, paralegal, so many things you could be doing, but that's fine just to say, you know, interested in pursuing a legal opportunity is fine. You can do that. Well, yeah. And I was also going to say, Tony, when you, indicate industry in your profile that may link you on LinkedIn to other people in that industry, but it doesn't show up. It doesn't show up in your profile with that industry click box that you put in there. Um, I think it's just a matter of LinkedIn getting your data and being able to connect it. So if you know you want to go to law school, if you want to pursue a career in law, then I would certainly put that in. Um, because I'm looking at other student profiles, I don't see industry listed for any of them. Yeah, and again, this guy's got a great name. Besides that, he's a law student at UM. Um, you know, this tells me strong legal professional currently. It doesn't tell me his interest. It doesn't tell me what he wants to do. And if he were on this call, I'd say, hey, now he's a summer law clerk with this, uh, with this law firm, legal assistant, so probably, well, he's telling me no, he's, he's a Jewish doctor uh, or about to get that next year. So he's got a lot of background, but he's not on the call. So I'm not going to you know, insult him, but he's leaving himself really short here. 
because he has taken tremendous amounts of, of school here and he's got great background, great degrees. Now notice skills and endorsements. So people have given him that he's got, he's, he's actually very good toward the bottom of this, but up at the top, I would have blown him off if I hadn't kept reading this. I would think, you know, he was, he was just getting started, but no. And he must have such a great business. He doesn't need any referrals. I don't know anybody like that, but again, not too shabby his background. So if, if that helps Tony at all, you know, start looking yeah, at people that is. are in, in the business that you think you might go into. Okay, will do, thank you. Sure. And there's another really good uh, profile example, Marcus Esports Howard. It's the second, uh, it's in the chat for you. The second one I put in under Marcus. Yeah, there he is. Because yeah. I've looked him up many times. So, yeah. boom. Yep. He's, and he was, well, actually, did I see him? I've seen him present here, but not for your uh, your event. Unfortunately, he missed that one, but he, he's got he, a great background. For crypto. So, yeah, he's got 24,000 followers. Um, don't don't go past this section here, right there okay. under under featured, right? He posts anytime he posts anything on LinkedIn, he gets lots and lots of people to like and follow. He's also runs a weekly podcast, um, which is really well done. But if you scroll down to below that under his about, close out of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Activity, keep going. Yep. Okay, here we go. Open up about, yeah. So very short, very sweet. This is what he wants you to know about him. I love this term. I've never heard this. He's a growth hacker. <laughs> right. Techie, leader, innovator, and sharp as could be. Yeah. 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 And under his experience, it's just all really well written and well done. And note that you know you're pulling the logo from the school that you attend, from the job that you had at the local store or the internship that you had. You want to pull the logo on the left hand side. Yep, because when you click on that, it, it takes, takes you there. Yeah. to the company game credits esports. And if I want to follow it, which I'll do now. Boom, and these are all similar companies that pop up. Again, we talk about social media, but this is really unstructured data sitting out there. It's for you to harvest. So by clicking on a few things, look at what you can do. And I'm sure this has all of his Twitter. Oh, he's got one Twitter here. And he and I connected back in May. That was about the time the presentation was happening. So that makes total sense. Very nicely done here. Again, entrepreneur. Yeah, and it also tells you what he wants you to know about him. He's a dad, you know, dad with two little kids. That's right up top. Yep, in front of his Mac exactly. while they're eating. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it looks like the pandemic world we were stuck in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, very nice. Anybody else that you can think of? Um, you can pull up chats. I mean. Here's the thing. I think if you are interested in going into something like law, where writing is really important, good writing, your about section should be really well written. You know what I mean? Like if you go, are going into an area, make sure that the area that you are trying to enter, you know, be, be noticed by colleges for, that that is something that you do well. So for example, Chad, has done amazing work for B2L. Um, he's done editing for Ultimate Gamer. He's created a video that's been viewed over 30,000 times on Facebook. Go up to the top of his profile. He's got a great headshot, no background. So I'm gonna call Chad after this and say, Chad, where's your background? You're the digital king and you don't, you don't have a graphic there. Um, that, so to me, that's something that Chad could do better to better represent himself um, because he is in that space and does that very well. But he's clear about who he is and what he's interested in. Obviously yep. a very limited number of connections as well. Um, and again, that's easy to do. You just throw an invite 
and we will accept and you can connect and it's okay i've already can... reached out Boom. yeah yeah because he's already got colleen uh the gentleman marcus and... yeah emily has her hand up sorry i'm looking at too many screens go ahead i was able to work my mic can you hear me perfectly, perfectly. sound wonderful um what things did you want me to go over the key club what is it oh basically it's um focused on leadership um helping your community and mostly volunteering here she is thank you that's yeah. that's what we thought that's terrific yeah sorry because i didn't even know what it was to be brutally honest here we go and again you've done a really splendid job i love uh this in the background from uh, aesop that's great yeah i actually I just, created that through canva wow watch out i just might hire you be careful because i have no idea how to use canva believe it or not photographs photo so you've got really good stuff and again when i saw lieutenant governor i was stumped because i didn't know what key clubs meant so that's great so you're involved in the community right education and you've got terrific volunteer experience. Terrific. You've tutored? Yes. SAT. And hands on Broward. In fact, I'm meeting them tomorrow. Um, I have a meeting with their COO. Let me know if you want, if you, if you need me to, to help you advance over there. Because I've, I'm, I'm part of the Women's Council of the Fort Lauderdale Chamber. So I'm meeting with their COO. We've got some uh, nonprofit uh plans to help grow them so just so you know that's my background uh people okay this is great did you do this all by yourself can i ask yeah i actually worked on this over the weekend um, no and... yes really yes wow i think a shout out hand clap awesome I job. I the picture today. yeah that was a picture from today you just did on your phone Oh uh, yeah, my mom helped take it and then I just added it in uh, earlier okay. today. All right, so Colleen, she's getting two tickets for sure. Enough said, done. That's great. Um, so for everybody else on the call here, um, I would say, and I, I'm, I'm going to, it's Emily Valdavinos. Am I saying that right? Oh, uh, Valdavinos. Hey, pretty good, not bad. But I, I would use her as your showcase type of LinkedIn profile. I would absolutely come back here and take a look and see what she's done, which, you know, five stars, rock star. And Perfect. come back in a day or two to look at Kiefer's okay. um, and to look at Swan's. Um, and I just got an invite from Emily. Thank you. Uh, and all of you that have profiles connect with us okay okay i just sent emily uh, a request so so glenn you mentioned this last week um and i think all of you may have heard about this there was a ransomware attack that hit companies around the country like two or three weeks ago and um, we now know that it has had local impact on at least um, a few agencies and not just companies, but you know, other agencies. Um, how to keep safe online is so critical. And the points that Glenn is making about not putting in your address, not putting in your phone number, you do not have to put in your, um, even your birthday if you don't want, because honestly, would you put your birthday on your resume? Probably not. Um, so, but there is a uh, crypto security webinar that you were hosting later this week, Glenn. Do you want to mention that briefly and share the, the details? How about I just share the details? Let me show you. Hold on. Yes. And it's part of Miami Beach Chamber of Commerce. We're a trustee there. And once I show you this, this, this will make a lot of sense because it's with their tourism council. And you're going, why would tourism companies care? about this type of stuff, about hackers and ransomware. Hang on, this is taking a moment to populate. Here we are. So let me go to events. And this is Wednesday, so we got two days of prep time here. 
Um, okay, right. Okay, tourism and hospitality. And when we all think of tourism hospitality, we're thinking probably restaurants, probably hotels, and of course, all the workers that are assigned to that. So what we're doing, because we've gotten all types of alerts from, and, and again, we're very close within the South Beach community down there. A lot of these places have been hacked. And when we say been hacked, someone's gone in there and done something either taken something, locked them out. That's where the ransomware comes in. So on Wednesday, there is a conversation. We're gonna be talking to, you know, they have enough problems going on with, uh, with, with the hotel collapse. But on top of that, the bad guys are going after people when they're not paying attention. This is real important. You know, if you're busy doing something else, dealing with the pandemic, you know, dealing with a hotel collapse, it's the perfect time for a criminal who never takes a day off to go after people. So we got a request from the folks of uh, a Miami Beach Chamber to put on a, we'll call it simply a cybersecurity type discussion because they are getting hit like nobody's business. Again, you all know why with the hotel that collapsed. Um, and also, uh, a lot of these these hotels are getting hit all the time and they don't know what to do with it. So the thing about getting hacked is really a couple different ways. One is they build a profile on you. So if you put information out there, and I'll call this the Quinella, it, a Quinella being a betting option. If they somehow figure out your social security number, your date of birth, your driver's license number, your address, your name, your zip code, they have you. It's just a matter of time for a brute force attack to go in and get inside your system. They may not steal anything right there, but they'll leave what we call cookie crumbs. And when something comes in about a paycheck, about a loan, about any kind of financial deal, they've got you. And then they're going to try to seize whatever they can. Now, it doesn't always have to be about money, and I don't know how much time I have here, Colleen. I got five minutes here to do this. Well, I think what we do now is share the link to register for the luncheon, um, and obviously this is going to be a conversation oriented around companies. Have they conducted a cybersecurity audit? Do they have a data um, uh, practice that encompasses network security and data security. And I think the other important point about the conversation itself is this is a huge career path and there's an enormous potential and opportunity in all things related to online security. So I think for that, I think we leave it there for now, Glenn, um, but all this ties back to individually protecting your own, you know, financials and everything else. Um, All right. Give me one minute, then I'll be quiet about this. How's okay. that? All right. The most important thing we all have to do, there's really two things. Watch emails that come in. If they don't look right, if they're asking you to click because you won an award, don't touch it. 95% of those are scams. The other thing we all must do is protect our passwords. Do not use the same password you use to get into LinkedIn as your bank account. If that happens and the hacker finds it, you're gonna have a really bad day because they're gonna have access to all kinds of money. And that's the last thing we want. So be careful what you share, what you give to people. If people ask what your password is, it's none of your business, don't give it out. And you'll see some of this if you attend this on Wednesday. It's Wednesday at 12 o'clock if I didn't share it with you. I think it's yes, 12. you did. And, if, yeah, and if, if it's recorded, then we can share the recording out after the fact as well. That's yep. terrific. Yep. Okay. Good segue. So wonderful. Um, so we went through live LinkedIn tonight. I hope that was worthwhile for everyone. Can we please share some love and positive feedback for Glenn in the chat? Um, did you get something out of tonight? Was it worthwhile? Please let him know. Um, this is the last LinkedIn session we're doing over the summer. Um, we are coming back tomorrow night for adulting and financial literacy with uh, Coach Mo. But yeah, Glenn, all things Glenn, Glenn rocks. Glenn Benjamin is our favorite techie, like the title slide said. So 
Um, with that, we are good to go for the evening and we're right at seven o'clock. Well done, Mr. Benjamin. And again, I put my LinkedIn in there. You're welcome to hit me up on any of my social channels. Uh, feel free. I will approve you before you get in. Just so you know, I don't let anybody just walk in because I will check you out. And, and if you're not doing that, be careful. And if you get a, a LinkedIn request from somebody twice, the second one's probably a scam. So be careful. That's all I got. We feel safe with you, Glenn. Thank you for protecting our interests and uh, for providing such great guidance. We really appreciate you. My pleasure. Tron, do you want to take us out and say goodbye to everybody like you always do so well? Students, students, thank you so much for coming out. Glenn, thank you again uh, for walking these students live uh, through the uh, LinkedIn account and giving them so many example, examples to uh, pull from. Uh, students, again, we hope you uh, enjoyed this and learned something here. Um, like, like Colleen said, we have adulting and financial literacy tomorrow. So if you haven't had a chance, make sure to sign up. Other than that, have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.